Right folks, how are we all? It looks like I'm just doing drinking videos at the moment, which I'm not. I'm not just doing drinking videos. Um, it's just that I am busy. Uh, I haven't got time to go and do food reviews, uh, but I do like doing this stuff. I do like entertaining or whatever it is. I also like jabbing people with a stick going about Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> Do you see that twat? Went to Peru. Went to Peru because he was in fear of his life and then came back to some awards and wore a bloody dress where his nipples were sticking out. You could see... His... <sighs> Can we please start to get back to being some kind of normality world? Peter Tush and he were on about it the other day, talking about kids. <sighs> Unbelievable. Anyway, folks, the date is the 16th of July. It is 10 past five in the afternoon. Um, June's upstairs doing something. Gingy's upstairs doing something. Uh, and I've got this bottle here. Um, it's... This is ideal for the summertime because let's face it, we are in summer now, aren't we? Well, we're going on the back end because the nights are drawing in. Nights are drawing in. It's probably what some like fucking 180 days to Christmas or something. Somebody wanking themselves off getting the Christmas decorations out. And um, yeah, we've got all these stop oil people out, haven't we? Fucking brilliant. You see them in Germany the other day. In Germany the other day, the. Um, some twat had stuck his hand to the road. So anyway, they're trying to get him out of the way of the road, in there? And he's like, ah, 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 and I'm fucking crying his little eyes out and taking his cap off and throwing it on the floor and then putting it back on. And he was making a right song and dance about it, this little brave mummy soldier boy. Ah, oh, fucking unbelievable. And then there were another woman and she sat there and she got ginger hair and um, got it in a ponytail. You know how they have them at the back or on the top, anyway. She's got this ponytail on the top of her head. You're fucking brilliant. Anyway, this blonde, other lady, blonde lady, went up and said, you're going to get out of the way in, in some kind of German language. And anyway, she didn't. So anyway, she just grabbed by the ponytail and fucking dragged her over the road. It was fucking brilliant. Anyway, um, the blonde woman walked off, went to get her. Anyway, she'd come back, the ginger woman did. Uh, so sat herself back down in front of this lorry. So she just dragged her by the hair again. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I believe our police should be doing this. Oh, you shouldn't be saying that about protesters. Blah, 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 fucking protesters. But you know what they say, don't you? You know what they say? Under every ponytail is an arsehole. I'll let you all have that one for nothing. Anyway, this is the drink. <coughs> I was in Morrison's the other day <coughs> and seen this. Um, I'm not a fan of cocktails as such. I'm not a fan of any cocks really. Um, and it's Funkin' Cocktails Bartender Edition. It's a salty caramel espresso martini. Shaken, not stirred. Um, it's a bar quality mix of rich aromatic coffee, salty caramel and vodka, chilled, shaped, served. It's a 700 milliliter bottle and it's 10% in alcoholic volume. Look at that. Can you see? There it is, 10%. 10%. I uh, don't know how much it cost me, I can't remember. It was about a bloody three weeks ago and I bought it. In fact, no, it's longer than that. Uh, trusted by top bartenders, we've been mixing great tasting cocktails since 1999. Let's have a party. Space 1999. Anybody watch that? That never happened, did it? That were another load of bollocks, eh? Another, another load of bollocks that we're all going to be living on the fucking moon. And the creatures up there. Fucking creatures down here at the moment. Fucking hell. Some of the weirdos walking. Did you see that one the other day? There's a bloke. And he wants to have... He said, people said to me, they go, oh, Dave, uh, Dave, what's happened to you? Why don't you do what you used to do? Because the world's gone fucking mad. There's more important things than me fucking reviewing bloody burgers. There's this bloke, and he wants to have an ovary womb transplant, right? And then he wants to get pregnant by a lesbian... And then he wants to have it aborted. Now, 
I'd say 20, 25, 30 years ago or something, that would have been put in a fucking lunatic asylum. That would have been dragged off and put in a padded room and fucking straight jacket on. But now we all seem to think, it, well, some of us do, seem to think it's fucking normal that this should be allowed to go on. Um, lost the track what I was on about. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know how much it cost. I picked it up. So you give it a shake. Ooh. Nice bottle, well designed, packaged, well packaged, a bit like my good self. Oh, fucking hell. We just had the house done for damp proofing. And when I walked in it, it smelled like that. <laughs> it fucking did. Some of you asking about the cottage. I'm in talks with the cottage. The cottage isn't seem to listen to me at the moment. Um, but there should be an update when I've got an update. Uh, but yeah. But that wasn't the one that was having the damp proofing done. That was another one. It does smell like, <laughs> it smells like white spirit. Anyway, here we go. Fuck it out. <laughs> right, seven minutes in before I even take my first sip. Very coffee, very, you can smell the caramel. Here we go, let's, let's dive in. Fuck me. If I drink all that tonight, I won't be asleep. I'll be keeping June up. <laughs> that is really, really, really nice. I'm getting the full strong flavor of the um, espresso or whatever it is, the coffee, what's in it? Um, espresso, salted caramel espresso. It's got a real nice, rich coffee taste. I don't, I do drink coffee. Um, I like my coffee strong and sweet um, and that is what that is it's strong coffee and it's got the sweet and the salt of the salty caramel it's absolutely amazing it's a shame that this is is it a limited oh it's bartender edition what's fucking bartender edition does that mean they're gonna Um, served with all the rich aroma flavors, a cocktail crafted at the bar, simply chill pour into a coupe glass. That's a car in tit. That's a car glass and garnished with coffee beans. Well, we ain't got no coffee beans, but this it really is nice. I am really, 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 really like this. It's got that little bit of a burn. You know that when you drink vodka and you get like a warm sensation, a warm feeling going down your throat and then it all settles into your belly after it's gone down your pipes. I really like that. Established in 1999. Let me just have a quick look, see what other people are saying on here. <laughs> Excuse me, just had a roast chicken. Had a spit cock chicken, is it? Spit cock or something? Always gets back to Dylan Mulvaney, don't it? Oh, somebody put me comments the other day. Uh, vile comments, and like, fuck off. I don't fucking ask you to watch, do I? Don't do that. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe my channel because I need all the attention. Like and subscribe. Fuck off. If you don't like it, don't watch. Fuck's sake. Right, let's have a rubber duck. 
Right, let's have a, who is it? Funkin' Cocktails. Funkin' Cocktails. There we go, Funkin' Cocktails. Funkin' Cocktails. Well, they do pina coladas. If you like pina colada and getting caught in the rain. Uh, they do coconut puree. They do pina colada. I've already done that. Uh, they do berry woo woo. Uh, mix a starter kit. Uh, uh, here we go. Salted caramel espresso. I've got to put my fucking year of birth in. Why? You could come on here as a fucking five year old and just put a date in that's like makes you. You could put like. I don't know, 1973. And, and yeah, are, are you confirming that? Yeah. Well, what's, what's the fucking point? Jesus Christ. Hugh Edwards didn't have to fucking authorise his age, did he? Oh, we can't say that because we've all gone soft because he's got mental health issues. There's another one, isn't it? Anything goes wrong in your life, put it down to mental health. All right, that's okay then. That's it. That's why my YouTube channel's dying. It's because of my mental health issues. So that should bring everybody back to my fucking channel. <clears throat> For fuck's sake. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't see it. Don't give me no fucking reviews. I ain't no... Bloody raining again. Raining again. All these stop oil protesters will be out. Getting wet. Yeah, oh, there's some here. Sainsbury's. Oh god, I've got it wrong. Something we are. Said the prostitute to the vicar. Right, salted caramel. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Right. Salted caramel. Let's have a look at the reviews. See what other people have been saying about it. Where do you find the reviews? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is everything so fucking hard? Right, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's will do it. Mind you, what's Sainsbury's done us lately? They've got bloody weird and all, haven't they? Uh, here we go, reviews. Let's read the reviews. The reviews. Uh, this was written by Sarah94 on the 15th of December 2022. It's a lovely balance of coffee and caramel with a punchy 10 BABB. Sarah, set up yourself a YouTube channel. You'll go far. Uh, this was written by Jim Lad one By the best, by far the best of the bottled flavours from fucking Funkin'. Uh, great evening treat, definitely works best when poured into a cocktail shaker and shaken over some ice. Uh, shaken, uh, shaken over some ice, shaken then poured in to give it that proper bar finish. We'll definitely be buying more of these for the other festive period. That was done on the 15th of Jan uh, December 2022. And then Ellie Wan bought this a week or two ago. Not very nice, artificial taste, taste my Tastes more like Jägermaster than espresso martini, quite herbal. Um, I don't think Ellie has a clue. That was written on the 31st of October 2022. There are the only feedbacks I can find from this. Hold on. I've got some here. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. It's not doing it. Sorry. I like to hear what other people say about these things as well. It's not just my opinion, is it? Because some people might disagree with me. <sighs> that is nice. And I'm not saying I'm getting drunk. I don't feel drunk. But what I do feel like is I feel I do feel like I'm getting some kind of a, a lightheadedness um, energy rush. Um, that'd be great. You know when you can work on nights and you take in Red Bull or stuff like that or overpriced Prime. God, how many people got that fucking video wrong? Jesus Christ, I was taking the piss. I was being sarcastic. How fucking stupid are some people who watch this shit? Why do people even... What, they do, oh, I don't know. Perhaps they just think... Right, I'm not drinking all that because if I do, it, it won't get me pissed but it will make me stop up all night. 
Well, it's five servings. Oh, fuck, I'll have a bit more. I'll have a bit more. Save a bit for ginger. So this has been out since October or November. Um, is this another review? Let me see. Reviews aren't verified by Google. What is? A Google, another one. I'll, I'll do my own fact checking. We won't listen to the experts. We'll just make it up as we go along. That's about it really. So, Moth Drinks Espresso. Mm. Cheers. This is nice. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Let's have a look, see who's reviewed it. Oh, I want a comment there, somebody's left me a comment. Who's left me a thingy? Oh, Bootneck. Bootneck's agreeing with me. Yeah. Right. What is it? Funkin. Funkin for Jamaica. Is that a song? It's there, Funkin' for Jamaica's on there, so I was right. Fur, we sang that in, um, we went chaos, oh, we went chaos in Corfu in 89. Ferg, Ferg came out to us, because he couldn't get time off, so he came out to us. And anyway, um, we all came back from a nightclub one night. There were me, Cleve, Yolf, Russ, and who else was there? Baggers. Fucking baggers, how could I forget baggers? Got back to the um, place where we were stopping. And anyway, this bloke comes falling down the hill. He, he absolutely rolled down the side of Beacon Hill. And uh, anyway, he got there. And he got to the bottom when we were all paying for the taxi and stuff. And Yolf went and had a word. And he turned around and he went, fucking hell, it's Ferg. And Ferg had got his glasses were like that. And his flip flops were down the bloody hill. Ripped his shirt. Yeah. And, it, and Ferg just kept going about Funkin' for Jamaica. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Uh, right, Funkin' Cocktails. Uh, what is it? Salted Caramel. Salted Caramel. There we go. Has anybody reviewed it? Cocktail Vibes, they reviewed it two years ago. Um, Alex Mandel drinks, he's doing that silly bloody... No, looks like I'm probably one of the first to review it. That probably means it's shit. Oh, salted caramel. Oh, you could put it on a fucking ice cream. That'd be good. If you got a McDonald's, right, if you got one of them frappy McDonald's with the ice, with the cream on the top, take that and just try and tip it in at the side. That'd be good. In fact, what you could do is just take it into McDonald's and say, don't make it yet, I want to give you this, tip this in instead of the fucking... What else is there? No, I'll set the rating on there. Nobody's made it. So, there you go. Uh, so, get yourself down to Morrison's or Sainsbury's or any other fucking shit shop that... Um, sells this stuff and give it a go put your comments down below let me know what you think about it and we'll go from there but this is good stuff if you go out drinking this at night yeah and because of all the coffee that's in it you ain't going to sleep you're going to be up all night giving it some that is fucking amazing <laughs>